I listen. I'm the biggest. Well, there's a million of them. Uh, but the reason I started dancing in the first place was bad. And my mum, I've got a story. My mum actually said we spoke yesterday, and she said. When you were like six to ten, you wouldn't go to sleep without dancing to Bad and Thriller. I used to dance around my room, practice the spin, practice the hee hee. And, um, and all I can say is he's such an inspiration to me still to this day. And I did a dance class yesterday and um, I was really down about him dying because I, I had tickets to go and see him in London. So I was so excited and then I found out that it was, it was such awful news. And then I went and danced in this dance class and he, they played Michael Jackson in the routine and it was just such a a celebration more than anything and it was more like the teacher was like you know this is for him and I was like you know his music's gonna live on forever and I feel like he's the biggest icon of my life and I don't know about I think a lot of other people feel the same way so I'm like more grateful that I've experienced the era that he's he's been I've been alive when Michael Jackson's been big and I feel really grateful and I'm so like I'm gonna keep on enjoying his music and keep watching those videos and people shouldn't look at it as a negative they should just be so grateful that we've witnessed such an amazing talent that's what I see it as Right. And do you think his talent will overshadow any of the controversy in his life? I hope so. I personally, I don't really, I wasn't in the room and I don't know what went on. And I, I don't know if it was wrong or right, but I look at his legacy rather than his personal life because I didn't know him. And I'm not the kind of person that judges unless I was actually there. If I was there, I would judge, but I wasn't. So we don't know. And I think we should just remember him for being the talent he was. And I love him. I mean, it affected me a lot. I started tearing up. I was watching a, a, a segment on the news where there was people in London, thousands and thousands of people, and they were all singing Thriller. And I remember, like, every song he used to drop used to be an epic moment, you know what I'm saying? And I remember where I was and what I was doing at that time. And if it wasn't for Michael, I wouldn't even be in music, honestly, right now. Because everybody that's an entertainer is in the back of their mind, you know, they're, they're aspiring to be great like Michael, you know? And that's the ultimate dream. And uh, just him passing is a great loss to the music community in a whole, you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to seeing Chris Brown do his tribute to Michael Jackson, honestly because I saw him do one like two years ago and I, I just thought it was amazing. And I think if anybody was to give a tribute to Michael Jackson and do it right, it would be Chris Brown. You know, despite anything that he's going through, you know, I think that man is very talented and he's gonna go up places, you know what I mean, with his, with his craft. I was just shocked. I mean, that came out of left field. And it's crazy because like two days before that, a friend and I was having a discussion about Michael Jackson and you know, we we're just talking about you know how great his music was and the contribution that he made to the music industry. And then you know, having this happen on the eve of the BET Awards was just insane. You know, like I'm, I still can't believe it. I'm really in shock. Like the word Michael Jackson and death just don't go together. You know, so I can't believe it either. It's just heartbreaking, especially growing up with him. You never saw him in concert. No, and that's one of the things that I'm really saddened about because I've worked with just about everybody in the, in the entertainment industry and he's one of the few that I have never met. And I was looking so forward to meeting him someday and so, you know, I'll never have that opportunity. So that makes me really sad. Yeah, I think it, it teaches us a lesson all about our lives, you know, and how short and fast it is and how we have to enjoy. I know it's so cliche, but we really do have to enjoy every minute. Every single moment, you know, and it's funny because when I was watching it, the coverage on CNN, and they did an aerial view of his home, and he, you know, lived in this beautiful, sprawling mansion with the big pool and the cars, and all I could think of was that none of that matters now. None of it. These things happen, but, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, in a crazy ironic way, it just literally, you know, sustained his legendary, you know, his, his, him being an idol. You know, it's a sad thing to say, but, you know, most of our idols have died untimely deaths. You know, you have Marilyn Monroe, you have John Lennon, Elvis Presley, and now Michael is a part of that in a sad way, you know? What about Farrah? Were you, uh, was she one of the people that you had a poster on a wall? <laughs> Charlie's Angels was my favorite show. So getting that news twice in one day was just like a blow. I mean, we knew, you know, Farrah's situation was pretty bad, you know, but still, you know, that's Charlie's Angels, you know? And um, that was a, a, really sho a real shock to me as well. Well, is there one favorite song? I'd probably say Heal the World. I mean, it's just, if there's one song, you know, it's just, but so many of his music is amazing. Um, well, you can't beat Thriller. I mean, come on. Um, I like, I love um, Black or White or, you know, Bad Beat It, you know, Billie Jean is, I love the Moonwalk, you know, but uh, I love them all. 
great. Billy Jean. That was my joint. I mean, the beat was hard. Um, it almost, from what I heard on, on MTV and VH1, it almost didn't make the cut, but it turned out to be one of his biggest hits on the Thriller album. And it's a cut that I still listen to to this day. To this day. It's timeless. Like, Michael Jackson's music is timeless. And you can't, you can't be mad at that man. To be honest, his catalog is so great. It's a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple of favorites. You, I don't think nobody can say they have one favorite Michael Jackson song. No. So, name a couple. Name a couple. I'm just gonna say album Thriller, like you no, know, that's that's, that's, that's whatever's on Thriller, you know, like it. exactly, yeah, Smooth Criminal, just yeah. albums. I, I mean, you could go individual go on and on. names, albums. That's the you know? reason why he was the greatest, because okay, right now they're playing Michael Jackson songs throughout the day. You could put on a Michael Jackson song at three in the morning and play it until three in the morning, and you won't hear the same song twice, yep. the same hit. Yeah. Dirty Diana. Mm -hmm. that, was that was my song, Dirty Diana. And Ben is pretty, too. I like Ben. <laughs> it's funny, because we asked some of the guys, and their favorite songs were Bad and Thriller. And PYT. Oh, OK. <laughs> Everybody loves PYT. <laughs> I think it would be probably Smooth Criminal. Yeah, I mean, because it was in Moonwalker, and Moonwalker was my favorite movie when I was a kid. And then when he did the little lean forward move, that was like it for me, man. I was a fan forever, you know? <laughs> I think for me, the, the moment that I knew that he was special was when I saw Thriller. You know, for the first time I remember, it came on TV, and, you know, me and my sister, we stayed up because it came on late at night, and we stayed up, you know, to wait for it. And when we watched it, after I watched it, I knew, I was like, wow. Like, it was, a, it was a done deal. He was amazing. Uh, Dirty Diana and Billie Jean, <laughs> those are my favorite songs. It's funny because when I ask the men, they have the bad, and the girls all like Dirty Diana. I wonder why that is. It's a sexy video. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, human nature. Human nature. Actually, I heard it in the car the other night, and I had a little cry in the car. I'm not going to lie. I had to, like, pull over and have a little cry. Cannot moonwalk. I am about as two left feet when it comes to doing the moonwalk as, as possible. So. But I mean, did you ever try it? Like how everyone just tries it? Of course, of course, everybody's tried it. You know, in their bedroom, they're in their front of the mirror by themselves. But uh, no, I'm, I was unsuccessful. <laughs> like everybody tried the moonwalk low at one point. Have you ever seen him in concert before? No, I've watched his uh, DVDs a million times though, so I could probably do the whole routine for you right now. Will, will you do it? I'll do a moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs>